Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jaren, and today I'm gonna teach you how you can make your own PokeVision. Alright, so some of you guys may be using PokeVision to, you know, uh, find your Pokemons, get to um, easily find the Pokemons around you, and apparently PokeVision has been down for a couple of hours, like maybe a day now. And uh, this is their latest tweet. It says that um, uh, we wish we had some news for you, but at this moment they are respecting Antics and Nintendo's wishes. And it is because of this news that uh, um, John Hankey doesn't really appreciate those uh, that PokeVision. So it says that I don't really like that. Not a fan. Uh, this is uh, a quote from uh, John Hankey. Uh, we have priorities right now, but they might find in the future that those things may not work. Uh, people are only hurting themselves make it because it takes some fun out of the game. People are hacking around trying to take data out of our system and that, that is against their terms of service. So yeah, and um, that's actually not fun for all, for all of us, especially with, uh, you know, this um, three-step bug before that they removed and now you have no idea where the Pokemons are, are you getting near to the Pokemon, are you getting farther to the Pokemon, or like, you're going blind. You're basically going blind, so yeah, um, it's a lot harder for you to um, catch Pokemon now, and I hope this uh, tutorial helps you guys. So let's get straight to it. And uh, before I do start the tutorial, I did just follow the tutorial that I found from Reddit. Um, it's quite a long tutorial, that's why um, some of you may not understand it, some of you may uh, be not, you know, uh, familiar with these, but uh, I am and. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible as I can for you guys so yeah all right so this is um this is what uh, I'm talking about so this is basically a poke vision like server where uh, I can choose the location I want to see and it basically shows me uh, the lures I mean the Pokemons the Pokestops along with the uh, Pokestops with lures I can uh, change the option to see all Pokestops or not all Pokestops. I can see all Pokestops. See all Pokestops. Yeah, so yeah, those are all the Pokestops around. Um, I can also see the gyms, but I actually disabled it. So yeah, um, you can disable it or you can just you know choose only the lured Pokestops to see. So now it's only gonna show me all the lured Pokestops. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's somehow. Um, better i mean it gives more information than pokevision however it's quite harder to you know navigate navigate because um, po um pokevision is, uh, is has uses a larger server and contains more data than this one so uh yeah let's get started with the tutorial all right to get things started uh the first thing you'll need are these three items right here these are the only three things that you'll need to download and once you've downloaded it once you've downloaded them um, just extract this file right here. Just, uh, just extract here. Uh, we have, yeah, whether you use WinZip or um, WinRAR or whatever extraction tool you use, it doesn't matter. Next is you have to install this one. I have installed this one, so just click next. Um, remember this path right here. You have to remember that, so just keep next, next, and it sh should install itself. And it might take a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, I guess. Let's just wait for that. So this is the tutorial that I'm actually actually followed. Uh, it's quite uh, it's quite long, and I'm not sure if you guys can actually follow this. I mean, not everyone can follow this. It's kind of confusing. A lot of people are actually asking some questions. Have they they're actually receiving some errors and all that. So I'm gonna try to simplify it. I actually encountered some errors myself. So. Um, yeah, um, so just to prevent all the errors that are that can occur. So, alright, so this one finished. And what's uh, the next thing you do is you open this thing right here. Alright, so this one. So you open that. Just wait for it to finish. Should be a couple of seconds because I think it's just installing some stuff. All right, so it's finished. Next is you have to get a uh, 
get the APK key. Oh, wait, yeah, you have to get the APK key from here. So, alright. So I forgot the link. So here, I'm gonna link this. Uh, I'm gonna link this link in my description below, just so you guys can do it yourselves. So here you have to go first. You first have to go here to credentials. Then you have to create a credential. So um, I think you have to first um, create a project or something like that. But um, you can do this. Get API key, then select browser. Yeah, um, credentials, API key, then you select browser. Then select once you select the browser, just type anything here. So example here. Just create. And you'll get this API key right here, which you will need later on. So just keep that, keep that API key. Just click OK. Just keep that. You're gonna see it right here. It should be right here. All right. So once you've got the, uh, once you've got the API, once you've got, once you've got your API key, you have to do this. You have to enable these settings. So you have to go to um, API library. So you click this library right here. Then you go to um, Google Maps JavaScript over here. Mine is already enabled, just it should be enabled here. So, yeah, mine is already enabled. Then you have to search for places. Then you're gonna have to see, you're gonna see um, Google Places API. You're gonna have to enable that as well. And you're gonna have to enable another one. Geocode. Right, and you're gonna have to enable Google Maps Geocoding API. So again, mine is enabled, so we just have to enable right here. It's going to be disabled. Cancel, right. But yeah, um, just have to make that enabled. And then, let's go back to our files. Once we have that, um, once we have that, what do we do? I forgot. Alright, so, once that, is, that has been installed, um, you remember the path that I uh, asked you to remember, so that's C. That's gonna be Python over here, and what you want to do is gonna copy this, copy this python.exe, copy that, and paste it right here. So paste it right there, and go to scripts over here. You can see that pip.exe over here. Now hold down shift, click right click, and you'll see this open command window right here. Then uh, all you have to do is copy this one. Which I will uh, also link to you. Paste that there. So, so we have that. It should download a couple of files. And once that's done, it should be done. And it should, it should take a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, I guess. Um, let's just wait for it. it should be finished in a few seconds all right so once that's done you go back to your uh, folder go to pogo m then you go to pogo api then you go to utilities ap uh utilities utilities dot py then i'm just gonna open it with my notepad plus plus and there you go and for this section you're gonna have to um, put here your uh, put in there your uh, your key which you got earlier and once that is done let's go back here so we have our here we go back here uh, to our command prompt then we enter this enter that so I'm just gonna copy that and paste it right there so um, here after the dash a you have the option to use your Google account or your PTC. I suggest you create another um, PTC account. Don't use your main account. Use a dummy account to uh, scout the Pokemons. Then, so create a new account from the program Pokemon Trainers Club, and create a new account, and enter username right here. Remove those asterisks. Username right here. Then you enter your password right here. Then you enter the location. Let's say um, Sydney. Sydney, Sydney, Australia. 
so once so that's done you put the st right is the st right there then try to enter that oh okay um you need the key to press dash k you enter dash k then you enter again the key that you use so let me just get my key again where's my key all right so let's get my key Paste it right there. Enter, it should work. There you go. So, good not retrieve token. Okay, I guess I'm having failed to log in. Alright, oh yeah, I forgot I didn't enter my proper username and password. But yeah, alright, so um, I'm just gonna enter my username and password right here. I'm just gonna hide that. I forgot. I'm so sorry about that. I forgot that I entered dummy passwords. All right. I'm so sorry, guys. All right. So I'm gonna just enter my proper username, and password, and enter it right here. All right. So I've entered my username and password, and I just ended it, ended it right here. Um, cause yeah. Um, so it was properly running, smoothly running. I um, mean, just let it be. It's gonna load up Pokemon. It's gonna load up all those data that uh that is in the area but that's how you know it's working so yeah all right so once once that's done so i re I restarted my application because i paused it to show you guys how it looks like so i restarted it and create a new tab right here get on localhost then it should it just uh, says localhost colon 5000 so that's this is what, that's what's the link supposed to be and there you go it shows up the pokemon you got some options right here so you can move it let's say you want to move it to um hyde park barracks museum so i'm gonna move this red mark right here so i'm gonna move it to hyde park um uh, barracks museum sydney enter and it switch right there so that's the center of my uh that's the center that it's gonna search for the pokemon so and uh, show the scan location so that's basically all the location that it's trying to scan so it's actually scanning a lot more now see that it scan actually a lot more than uh, than it did so yeah it shows you the pokestops and all the uh, the scan locations you can do only lured po pokestops so it shows you all the lured pokestops and all the pokemons there so yeah that's how it is i hope you guys will be able to make this work it's quite simple um nothing really hard to do um it's quite long but might take around 10 15 minutes but yeah um just i'll leave a comment if you do encounter any uh problems with uh making this work so yeah there you go guys i hope this was helpful if you guys do encounter any problems just leave a comment down below and i'm gonna try my best to answer them with uh, the proper answer you know and um please like this video if you like it this like if you didn't be sure to uh, comment down below your problems or any questions you have and be sure to subscribe for more videos and i'll see y'all next time